I believe every student should start their day with an argument. And I'm not talking about whether or not they deserve that raise in their allowance, or whether or not they really deserve to get that new drone. I'm talking about empowering our students to stake a claim and feel a sense of responsibility and action in the ever-changing world of science. Now, as teachers, administrators, and parents, we often ask our students to describe their day in just one word. Boring. We hear it, and, and when we hear this word, we could do one of two things. We could take it at face value, sure. We could stop to think about it. Put ourselves into the mindset of the students and what they've had. Try to remember for a second that they're still developing their vocabulary. Because I honestly believe they don't mean to say it's boring. What I think they mean to say is it's begun predictable. Now, if it's become predictable, how do we go from that to this? Students engaging, talking to each other, listening to one another, sharing ideas, collaborating together, maybe coming up with differences of opinion, but in a place that they feel safe, comfortable, and happy to engage and share these ideas. Being empowered to stake their own claim and find their viewpoints in the ever-changing world of science. Well, how do we get there? We need to think about the reality of the students when they walk into the classroom. I'll never forget my first year at Coronado Middle School, and I'll never forget my student. Her name was Julia. And I remember Julia stayed after class one day. She looked at me right in the eyes and said, I love the class, I love the energy. And then I remember her voice shook ever so slightly. And she said, but I want to be challenged. This was honest and real criticism. And even when her voice shook, she felt safe enough that she could express it. So I thought about this. What is the reality for these students when they walk up and down these classroom doors, every single time seeing something different? We need to take the time to think about that. My mentor, Dr. Christopher Emden, talked about the reality pedagogy, being able to understand the students, having their connections with their own learning. He would talk about when he would look at his classrooms, and he would look at the faces of the students inside of the classroom, and they were on guard. And some of the teachers would come up to these students and say, let's get that, let's get that look off your face. We're here to learn. Let's get started not taking the time to really think about that these students, some of them had taken three trains just to get to school in the morning, gone through areas of drugs, gangs. So the time that when they came to school, they were on guard to survive. Not taking the time to really understand that means that you're not making the connection with the students. So what Dr. Emden did every single morning well, he would greet his students when they walked in the classroom with a big smile. And suddenly, you could just see the guard go down. Now, I always connected with this quite a bit, both with my own upbringing, having to deal with things that were very similar to what some of these kids had gone through. And the environments may be different, but the theme is universal. Understanding the reality and having the students connect with what's going on so that they feel active, they feel empowered, they can find their voice and they can collaborate together. Some of the students would walk into the classrooms those days, still on guard, and the teacher would say, okay, take out your textbook lessons. Your first thing that we're gonna get started to do is you're gonna write three facts that you did from the reading from last night. Now, some of these students might not have done the reading for a lot of reasons. Some of them might have been military students that have just come to the school, transient students, things going on at home. So they were starting their day with something they couldn't participate in. So I thought about it. How do we empower these students, get them engaged? If we're saying that science is an active process, we need to act on it and show these students that they can act on it. 
So I came up with hashtag science. And I remember back to Julia, wanting to be challenged, wanting to engage these students, to be active in what's going on in the world around them. I promised my students I would find a minimum of six scientific innovations or discoveries going on in the world, present it in a presentation every single morning so that any single student could walk into the classroom and participate. One of the innovations might be that for the first time in history, NASA has exactly 50% male and 50% females in the astronaut program. And I'm telling you right now, a student who has witnessed this inequality firsthand is going to connect with this. They'll tie it into everything that they've been able to experience. They'll develop their voice, and they'll be able to pick a position and say, this is an important innovation because empowering all our students to start off the day successfully is one of the most important things you can do. And I can tell you, the best compliment I've ever been paid is when I get a chance to talk to some of the parents. And they say every single day, when we get a chance to come home for dinner and eat dinner together, we're talking at the dinner table and we're debating together. What did you learn in school? I learned that this is an innovation that's going on. Well, what do you think about that? They're active. They've developed a voice. They are living out what we are trying to teach them, which is that science is not a passive process. It's an active process. I'll never forget what Julia was able to do for me. She felt safe. She felt empowered. Those kids on that screen, they're encouraged. They know that they're able to make a difference because they're staking their claim right now, right here. I think every student should start their day with an argument. So why not hashtag science? Thank you very much. <laughs>